Hey everyone, it's Tony George, NFL opening line report, playoff style here on Monday. These are opening comments, opening leans, not handicap picks, just me and you taking a piss over a fence post, drinking a beer at the local sports bar, just talking about our initial reactions about what we see. It's non-scientific, non-analytical. We're not using sabermetrics and algorithms here. It's just a candid, frank discussion. Same thing we've done all year long. So, that being said, leave your comments in the comments section below, and we'll filter those out on the back end. We'll leave the F-bombs out of it, the haters, the links to porn sites, and OnlyFans page, and then, of course, uh, competing websites giving you the, the link to their Super Lock of the Century page. Um, and so, uh, but the valid ones we'll go ahead and approve. I'll interact with you, do all this, that, and the other. Be sure and thumbs up and subscribe to Doc Sports YouTube channel as well. We appreciate you tuning in. Uh, let's get to these lines here. I've seen a couple of them. I haven't seen them all. I did manage to attend the Chiefs games. Uh, both of my NFL free plays suck this week, and my NFL has stunk for the last two weeks. I'm not going to lie to you. I tell you the way it is. I have not got it right in the NFL down the stretch. Very difficult, very uh, disappointed in my NFL season. So I'm looking to finish strong in the postseason. But it's something that has not on, gone unnoticed by me. You know, it's been a very tumultuous, crazy NFL season. You see the Circus Survivor. A guy yesterday, three guys left, one guy. Every game that they picked, Seahawks overtime, Jaguars overtime, and then one guy had Indianapolis yesterday. He chose them instead of Minnesota. Do you see how he lost that? That's $2 million. Wow. So just proving that anything can happen in the NFL. Now, a guy that mentored me coming up through the NFL – uh, over the years, I started doing this in 1992, putting out picks for sale, winning some contests and some little things out here in Vegas back in the early to mid-90s. You know, when I first got rolling into the business, one of my mentors was a guy by the name of Mike Lee. Now, many of you old-timers, you know, I know there's a lot of new, uh, new uh, world champion handicappers coming out of the woodwork at age 24 telling you, doing videos and hooked up with all these books, you know, um, telling you they know it all. I've been around 31 years. And Mike Lee told me one time, he said, when it comes to the, and now bear in mind, he passed away in 2006, but had a big influence on me. He told me one time, sitting around, having a libation, when it comes to NFL playoffs, Tony, forget the point spread. Just take the best team and bet them. You're going to win about 80% of the time. Just take the best team and bet them. He goes, and you're going to win more than you're going to lose in the postseason. All the time, Super Bowl included. Bet the best team. Forget the point spread. Throw it out the window. Things have changed since then, but then again, sometimes they haven't. You know? So we got some big games this week. You got a lot of volatility in the NFL. Week 18 was nothing but full of surprises. Let's take a look at the opening lines here and see what's going on. The first game up here is Seattle at San Francisco. San Francisco's laying 10. The total is 43. you got a third-string quarterback for San Francisco who's just hotter than donut grease. Brock Purdy. This is a divisional game. Third time around. San Francisco has covered the spread in two games by 16.5 points. Both games went under. 21-13 December 15th and a 27-7 game September 18th. San Francisco was laid 8.5. Covered. San Francisco was laying three, covered on the road. Now they're home again. They're maybe the hottest team in football. I'd lean under out of the gate, just for what it's worth. Whew. 
Seattle, boy, they got lucky yesterday, didn't they? Man, the Rams aren't that good. I think San Francisco could name the score on that one if they wanted to. Definitely maybe use San Francisco in a teaser. That's a Saturday game. The other game Saturday, how about the Chargers losing to the, to the Denver? They gave up almost 500 yards to Denver. They're laying one and a half at Jacksonville. Total 47. Boy. I'd lean over. Chargers in a teaser. Miami at Buffalo. Buffalo 10 and a half. Put Buffalo in a teaser for sure. 43 and a half. Look at the weather in that one. Is Tua going to start for Miami? Put up 11 points against the Jets. They just stepped all over there. You know what? The entire last half of the season... Their coaching is questionable. Buffalo might be the best team in the AFC, but they give it away down deep. And I'm. Wow. Again, Buffalo, kind of like San Francisco, they might be able to name the score in that one. I'm not sold on Miami, especially if they don't have two, a quarterback. New York Giants at Minnesota. Catching three, total 48 and a half. 13 and four versus nine and seven. Many at home. Took care of Chicago yesterday. New York, I'm telling you. The opening line report last week, somebody commented, I said, you use the Giants in a teaser and you're out of your mind. You're crazy. They almost beat them straight up. Philadelphia. Can you trust Minnesota? Lost to Green Bay 41-17. Couldn't even get out of their own way the game before they did a layup on Chicago with a second string quarterback. 27-24 winner over the Giants, December 24th. Here we go again. Total was 48, went over. Now the total is 48 and a half. I'd lean over. Baltimore, plus six and a half at Cincinnati. Don't know who's going to play quarterback for Baltimore. If Jackson doesn't play, Cincinnati beats them. Back-to-back -back weeks. 27-16 game. Total was 39, went over. Total now is 43 and a half. You might find an under underplay in that one. I definitely take Cincinnati and tease them down if Jackson doesn't play at quarterback. Harbaugh's the better coach in that game. They've been there, done it, bought the whole t-shirt factory. Won a couple of Super Bowls as head coach. Cincinnati and a teaser regardless. Might find the sledding tough in back-to-back -back week scoring points there. Harbaugh is smart enough to get his defense to initial thought. Dallas at Tampa Bay. Here we go with the Cowboys. Did you see what they did yesterday against the against the uh, Commanders? Pardon me. Put up six points. I was looking at this box score. They put up six points, 10 first downs, and 182 yards of offense. Gave up 111 yards in return yards. 
Pedestrian numbers. Pedestrian numbers. Prescott, 14 to 37 for 128 yards, a touchdown and a pick. You think Dak Prescott's worth all that money? Who's the better quarterback in this game? The guy that's got six Super Bowl rings or Dak Prescott? Tampa Bay finds ways to win games. The Cowboys find ways to lose in the postseason. I'd take Tampa Bay in a teaser plus nine all day long. That's the best way to play that game. Tampa Bay is 4-12 and 12 against the spread this year. They're not a good cover team. The difference is they lost 30-17 to 17 against Atlanta. They didn't play anybody. Dallas played and got beat by 20 against Sam Howell. Kid out of North Carolina. First NFL start ever. You got any confidence in Green Dallas? You got any confidence against Mike McCarthy? Two coaches here that I'm not high on. Bowles and McCarthy. Neither one of them, to me, is a good NFL coach. Tampa Bay in a teaser. That's the way I see it. We got games, and that's the Monday night game. Total 45 and a half. Didn't these guys play right out of the gate this year, didn't they? 19-3, Tampa Bay, first game of the year. I'd lean under, too, by the way. That's the way I see it in the NFL round one. Now, we'll go through these, do a deep dive, do the, do, do the analytics, do the saber metrics, look at the algorithms, look at the power ratings, look at the power numbers. It's going to be low volume for me. This has been a very volatile year in the NFL. It seems like it's getting worse and worse every year. It's hard to it's hard to pick straight up winners some weekend, let alone mess with the spread. I mean, it's it's been a difficult year. I've struggled this year. I'm not gonna lie to you. I tell you like it is. I'm an average Joe just like you. You know, if I'm doing good, I'll tell you I'm doing good. And if I'm doing bad, I'll tell you I'm doing bad. That way when I get up in the morning and look at myself in the mirror in disgust at how old I'm getting, I also remember what yesterday's story was because I told the truth. So we'll see what we, there's a couple here that I've seen that I'm probably worth betting. And that's it. And they're going to be four to six unit plays and side or total. And that's going to be it. We're going to let it shake out. And I'm um, looking forward to getting my Chiefs at home. Winner of the uh, Chargers and uh, Jacksonville game. Two teams which we've already beat this year. Let's have my Chiefs make a run to get the AFC Championship. Be interesting to see if they do get the AFC Championship, if they let them play that at Arrowhead or they let them, they got to play it on a neutral site because of the Cincinnati Buffalo Monday night uh, situation. And thank God that that player, Hamlin, DeMar Hamlin, is going to be okay. That's a blessing. Enjoy the playoffs this weekend. Check us out on the site daily.